Hey everybody, welcome to another video, and today I'm doing a EDC update, and this EDC is uh, named a vehicle EDC. Why do I say this is a vehicle EDC? Because this little thing here uh, remains inside of my wife's glove box, okay, the center console, and um it comes in pretty good um, use um, uh, a lot. So uh, let's get into it. Uh, originally, I made this when I first started doing Leatherworks as a belt pouch to carry uh, Altoids tin and other few things. Um, I did a video on this long time ago, and now I've updated it. Okay, so... Um, it's pretty crude looking, and I purposely made it that way to make it look uh, primitive and, and, and at the same time uh, give it that cool, uh, rough look. <laughs> so anyway, it works pretty good as a belt pouch, actually. Um, all right, so let's get into this. First, we have a lighter in the middle. Okay, This is not a survival kit, by the way. This is a... Daily use, more like a, a, a pillbox kind of thing. Okay, so here we have a um, generic lighter with a um, um, duct tape. Duct tape comes in handy for a lot of things, as everybody knows. All right, so we'll go here to the side pocket, and we have a... Um, Somewhat of a, a tool you can use to um, for emergencies. You got a compass. You got a magnifying glass here. Let me get it out. Okay. Never know when you need a magnifying glass to look at things or even start a fire. Okay. You have a thermometer. Okay. Let's say you're driving through the mountains and you your car breaks down. And so you take this pouch and you put it on your belt and you walk around and you have a way to find direction. You have a way to start a fire with the magnifying glass. You have a whistle to uh, call for help or uh, seek attention. So always a nice thing to have. Here we have a uh, bottle opener with uh, a f little tiny flashlight, okay? Uh, you know, never know. It's not going to really help you in the wild out there, uh, in the outdoors. But when you're in close quarters, like looking under your car seat to see what you dropped, this comes in handy. And you always can use a bottle opener when you're uh, at a picnic or uh, somewhere and you don't have a way to open a, a bottle. It comes in handy. All right. So that was that little pocket there. Um uh, you could also fit like a Leatherman in here, like a Super Tool 300 in here if you wanted to. Now let's go here into the main event. And this is the Bucky's EDC vehicle uh, Altoids tin. Can't really call it Altoids, it's not Altoids, it's Bucky's Peppermints. <laughs> Now I have this Ranger band wrapped around it to keep it closed and also a few extra things um, attached to it. So let's take the Ranger band off and see what's on this. This is a, um, as it says here, it's some wipes and some bandages. Okay, comes in handy, useful in many ways. On the back here, I have a um, mirror for signaling and also just looking at yourself, you know? It uh, goes in my wife's car, so if she ever needs a mirror, um, here we go. She can reach into the center console and grab a mirror and take it with her uh, on her little walks, whatever, okay? Now let's get into the actual Altoids tin. Now, as I said, this is not a survival tin. This is more of a kit for everyday use. We have a um, some cordage here for uh, 
emergency torch i did a video on how to do an emergency torch where if you need a um, some some kind of light as you walk along you can light this end and just walk like holding a candle basically um here we have candle <laughs> a trick birthday candle for those situations where you need extended light uh, I, this is a little incomplete. I was going to put a lot of thread. Uh, I was going to do a th spool of thread for sewing. Okay. Never know. You're out and about. Uh, you're going to a party and uh, you maybe tear your dress or or your clothing and you need to quickly sew it up a little bit um, so you can continue on. Here's some stormproof matches for emergency fire. Uh, one more birthday cake, uh, trick birthday cake. The um, uh, reason I picked the trick birthday ca uh, cake candles is because they're hard to blow out. They stay lit in the wind. Uh, here is another stormproof match. Super glue. Super glue. The um, reason I have super glue in here is because you can fix things with super glue. Uh, not just... Uh, Many people will think that this was this would be used to uh, repair wounds like uh, liquid stitch, but mainly I have it in here because it's part of the uh, you know repair kit, sewing and repair, and the duct tape also used for uh, repairing. Okay, um, here we have uh, a tin inside of a tin, and then we have two of those one on top of the other okay and inside is uh little uh ziploc bag pouches of medicine this one here contains pepto-bismol and this one here contains tylenol okay now i'm telling you i use this all the time while I'm driving, I might have a little upset stomach. I tell my wife, can, hey, can you reach in the center console and get me my Pepto-Bismol? Boom. Uh, I might be driving along and I might have a headache. Hey, I tell my wife, can you reach into the center console and give me some ass, uh, Tylenol? And boom. These get used a lot. So they're constantly being refilled. Okay. Um, we'll save this for the last. On the bottom, we have uh, sewing needles. Okay, what is a uh, what is the use of carrying thread, spools of thread, if you don't have sewing needles, right? So I have three different types of sewing needles that you can use to repair your clothing in case you're going, like I said, somewhere and you happen to snag your uh, pants or dress somewhere and you get a little tear. You can sew it up, you know. Um, just temporary solutions. To get you go, uh, get you through the day. All right, now here is the match striker. Goes right here. All right. Now let's get to this uh, multi tool keychain multi tool. It is by Next Tool. I purchased this a long time ago. Um, and I've used this a lot when I first got it. For my hobby, paracord uh, braiding and and all that, and it comes in handy. Very useful tool. The pliers are used to uh, hold the paracord while I melt the ends and stuff like that. And they're pretty decent pliers. I would say I put it up right up there with um, and uh, uh, Leatherman's uh, Leatherman keychain uh, pliers. And I think in a way it's uh, feels sturdier and better to me because they're also spring loaded, so they're open. They open by themselves, so I like it. Um, pretty sturdy for what it is. And then here, uh, very unique to keychain um, size multi tools. It also has a scissor. And that is also spring loaded. So very easy to use. Okay. I have no complaints about it. And I think they're pretty decent scissors. They cut through paracord and they cut through paper. Fairly easy. Um, 
fairly sharp okay let's open up here and see what uh, else tools they have uh, you have a flat tip screwdriver slash pry tool with also a little file here okay there's a little file here too on this side so that's pretty neat to have on the other side here let's open that up and that is like a Phillips screwdriver but a, kind of the flat version of it as you can see right there um, flat version of a flat t uh, Phillips screwdriver there okay and that's the tools on that side let's go over here and then you have the combination tool that opens uh, bottles and also cans it's a can opener slash bottle opener okay go on this side here and then you have a main blade fairly sharp pretty sharp toothy and sharp so um that's i think that's all the tools basically and to me i like this tool because it offers the pliers and the scissors uh, it gives you all the tools that uh, that the uh, Leatherman Squirt and the Gerbers have. So uh, to me, this is uh, somewhere in between Gerber and Leatherman. Uh, the quality, I believe, is right up there with Leatherman as uh, far as the keychain size tools go. And uh, I think uh, I like this tool. I do. I highly recommend it. It's, um, I think I purchased this around $25, $26. Uh, it may be around 30 now, but I think it's well worth the money uh, for casual use for lightweight uh, tasks, you know, all, and, and to be frank, all of these key size chain uh, multi tools are basically that. So this works great with the sewing kit that's in here to cut the thread. Okay. Um, the pliers can be used for uh, pulling hard to uh, grasp let's uh, close these up just give you some scenarios and why you would use a small plier like that is basically um, you know you want to you know you want to reach in and grab like let's say uh, you're trying to th thread something and you want to reach in and grab and yank something out you know that's what, you know, instead of using your fing fingers to try to pull, you can have some more leverage by going in here and pulling out. And a lot of the times when you're sewing, let's say, leather or canvas, and uh, you need some leverage to pull, pull uh, out the needle, this also works well like that. So pl little pliers do come in handy. All right, so wh why did I build a kit like this for my wife's car? Well, because it's really not a survival's kit. It's a semi-emergency preparedness kit, maybe, with an emergency uh, whistle, uh, compass, uh, and magnifying glass. And uh, I guess in a situation, push, come to shove, if you have absolutely nothing, you can use it for survival to build a fire, okay, to make fire but uh it's more of a uh, convenience package where if you're feeling a little ill stomach ache headache whatever you got some medicine okay and then um, you have a multi-tool to fix little things okay this all goes in here like that uh, i do have to remember to put some thread in here <laughs> It's, uh, that's what happens when you're quick to try to make a video and uh, you forget to do something. I'll put all these in here like this. Oh. 
Oop, I forgot to put the needles in there. I'm gonna put the needles at the bottom. I could probably fit, fit a few more things in there and uh, I might do an update video later on to just when, you know, all these EDC uh, stuff that I show on my video, sometimes I change it around or update it, so I might do another video. But um, that's it. That is the Bucky's Vehicle EDC Kit for now. Uh, put that right there like that, like that. And you got the Ranger band, keeping it together, and boom. Fits in there real nice. I use two different types of leather. Uh, one is the thick leather, and then I have the soft leather for the pocket. Um, I put that in there like that. Put the whistle. Let's put the whistle in first. And then we got the just stuff that in there like that. Okay. And then you got the outer band to keep that in place like this. And that goes right in the glove box. Alright. You got the belt loop here in case you need to put this on your belt okay way to carry it so that just sits in the glove box just like that and that's it folks so if you have any comments questions or suggestions please leave it down below if you like the video like it if you like my channel subscribe thanks a lot folks catch you next time